here it is, the Sinner Sandwich. What is up gangsters? My name is BNT and today we are trying the Sinner Sandwich. So for those who don't know, the Sinner Sandwich is from the 2010 horror video game called Deadly Premonition. And there's a scene in it where there's like a three minute long cutscene of like, a detective finding out somebody's ordering a sinner sandwich, uh, which is cereal, strawberry jam, spicy turkey sandwich. It's supposed to be on milk bread and it's supposed to be Rice Krispies, but uh, this is flattened rice in chocolate uh, form. So that was as close as I could get because in Canada we don't have them right now. They're available in the US and I could get it shipped here for $25, but this video is already costing me $20. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so I went with the cheaper option. It's only gonna be a slightly textural change, but it'll be around the same basic flavor. So sandwich bread was the closest thing to uh, milk bread. I could have gone to an Asian store, but the closest one is that, that sells milk bread is like 30 minutes away. And I just was not feeling it today. I may or may not show the sandwich being made. I don't know. That's for future editor Beansy to figure out. So, let's get to the sandwich. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Perfect. Emily, you eat something, too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. Mrs. Olivia Cormack, I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I'd thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stoop. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. Are you sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan, making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. I'll give it a try. I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. And here it is, the Sinner Sandwich. It smells weird. It's not bad and it's not good. Is the best way I can describe it. Like the turkey is good. The crunch from the Rice Krispies or the Cocoa Pebbles it is it's really good. It starts getting weird when you get into the jam though. Also the cocoa gets in the way. Like the crunch is good, but the cocoa is kind of like stepping on the turkey. Also, you're supposed to use like the spiciest turkey you can find. This isn't spicy at all. So I think for the second half, I'm gonna go and grab uh, some hot sauce. This is Zozo hot sauce. 
It's ridiculously hot, but very, very tasty. <laughs> Love that Zozo sauce. So it adds the heat. It adds a really good flavor, but it also doesn't take away from the weird strawberry and chocolate thing that's going on over here. So this sandwich really like pulls you in different directions, depending on which way you eat it, because the different ways you turn it, you get different flavors at different time. But I see why they call it a center sandwich. It kind of gets you to thinking like, what led you to this point in your life? And that's kind of the point of the sandwich. You're supposed to sit and reflect on what you've done. The one takeaway I would take away from this is I think something more neutral, like just plain Rice Krispies, would be a really good addition to a sandwich. Like having that crunch without chocolate flavor would be good. I have seen people put fruity pebbles on a hot dog. And then I'm like, why? This is so weird. But I don't like hot dogs, so maybe I'm just missing out. If you enjoyed watching me try this weird sandwich, check out this pair of weird sandwiches. A buddy recommended it to me, and it was interesting. Thanks for watching. Peace.